Sniffy sniffy bum sniff. Sniffy bum sniff. Sniffy sniffy bum sniff. I chase bad bitches, accolades, got will sign, no castaway. I'm twice as good, get half the praise. Throw a sniper up and I blast away. You ain't getting through me. Nah. I'm doing donuts. And we're back. What's up guys? It's Halzo and I'm back with some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We are where we left Never off. So many people all at once. Of Pretty sure I missed a little segment of a cutscene because I, because of where I ended it last night. But there's no panic. Assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? Oi, watch it. He just, he just pickpocketed him. Knew it. Ah, we got Chase on the go. Isn't that him? No, okay then. He just looks exactly the same. Anyway, guys, we're on sequence three. We have, of course, completed sequence one and two. Uh, that being, if you guys haven't seen it, sequence one was with Jacob, who I'm actually playing as right now. Uh, we had to kill Rupert Ferris, who was a owner of a coal working place, coal mine, I don't know. Um... We had to assassinate him anyway, and we did that successfully. And then... Come here, you little shit. Sequence 2 was playing as Evie, who is... Fine, you little mobsman. The... Keep it. Well, well. <laughs> here we go. Here? Oh, really? Come on in, mate. I'm too quick for you! As I was saying guys before I got rudely interrupted by these assholes. Sequence 2 was played with Evie. And we had to kill Sir David who was a scientist. That uh, was developing some sort of thing with a piece of Eden. And the whole laboratory blew up. After we assassinated him. So if you guys haven't seen those episodes. Go check them out on my channel. Now is not the time for tourism, Jim. Yes, she is. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race to the highest vantage point. <laughs> Damn it! You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. This is fun. This is awesome how they've how they've done this sort of stuff. It's definitely a different take on the Assassin's Creed. What are you stopping for? Oh, up we go. See that? Come on, Jacob. We got this. Yeah. Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. I'm guessing that's him. Equal in height. One female. One male. Two decades old, and most devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. <laughs> and you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Staric sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, <laughs> let me show you the lay of the land. <clears throat> Shall we? So, uh, Jacob <laughs> kind of went along with what you were saying there. 
as as we know the council didn't actually send them they chose to go off their own back so uh, I don't know why he feels that he has to say that the council did send them maybe they're not permitted to be there under some strange law or assassins some assassins rule or something like that as a part of the what just happened what was that when did uh, when did I become immortal what the fuck oh my god you know guys that has happened to me so many times in every single one of the Assassin's Creed games but never have I survived like that it's killed me every time like it should that was just what <laughs> the fuck I d the thing is that bugs me I don't know how they haven't polished that out of the game yet because <clears throat> obviously like I said I've done it in every Assassin's Creed game by mistake you would think they would have polished it out by now so you can't do that like when I'm trying to get on the synchronized thing for him to go on there and not fall off look at what Starak has done to the city Whitechapel is riddled with crime child labor <coughs> despite regulations a game known as the blighters overruns the streets not for long and Templars manipulating behind the scenes as in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. <clears throat> we will free London from Stark. You have my word. And my looks. It's fried. <laughs> Your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. Yeah, so they've changed the uh, synchronization. I don't like it. I preferred it when it did the whole, you know, swoops around in a big gigantic circle. And there was always an eagle on the end of the platform, which I really liked. Well, how did I just, I just put a hood on him somehow. Oh, when I go into sneak, he does it automatically. That's a nice little... Come on, sis. That is so cool to watch from below. Keep quiet. Kaylock's looking for me. Who's Kaylock? One of Starik's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starik gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? <laughs> they're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. Hey, pick up the pace, dude. That's what I like to see. Have a good day, sir. I will, thank you very much. Where are you going, Evie? Henry's here. Good old Henrus. <laughs> sniffy, sniffy, bum sniff. Sniffy, bum sniff. Sniffy, sniffy, bum sniff. Confound this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed yeah, that. Yeah, you weren't, you fucking dullin'. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! Charles Dickens. What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. Yeah, that's Kaylock's gang is nearby. They must not That's not suspicious at all. Take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. 
Oh god, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Uh huh. Sick. We got guns and a horse and carriage, which I haven't used yet. This is cool. Whoa! I didn't want to do that. Ram! 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 Look, this is like pinball. See ya, mate. Now to return to Mr. That was easy. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me. There's like a GPS. I'm playing Grand Theft Assassin's Creed. Watch my light. No. Get out. I do hope Mr. Why? Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. Do if our number one source of information turns up dead. Star Trek copy that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. Whoa! Slow down now. No, let's just trash everything in sight. The the true Grand oh, Theft easy. Assassin's Creed Ray. Get off. Is this his shop? No. It's, uh, in here. Twat. Get in. Did you give them the slip? You gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? We take over Starek's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match it. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the rooks. <laughs> you are not starting a gang called the rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. <laughs> we will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock. Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a template target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle it. <laughs> I like it, <laughs> greeny. <laughs> okay, so they've almost disposed of guards completely, and we've got thugs in this instead. Right, you guys, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here before it gets out of control, long, and takes like two days to upload. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, share it with your friends, drop a like and a comment, and I will see you guys. Later on, maybe, in Halo 5 or tomorrow in Assassin's Creed. Peace.